fibroids are points of infection. The infection is coming from mainly the colon. So the L to the colon is very important. The colon plays a critical role in weight loss and it's a reservoir for bacterial, viral, fungal infection and even parasites that, as we said, it seeds the infection into the uterus in the fibroid. So it is crucial to have a diet that would minimize the growth of bacteria in the gut, harmful bacteria. This would involve a diet that is a well-balanced diet with some protein, a lot of green, leafy vegetable, high percentage of being raw. But well, the green leaf vegetable has plant melanin, we call chlorophyll, and it oxygenates the gut and makes it hostile for the bull's bacteria to grow. So the good bacteria will grow. Another way you can take some probiotics also. That will reduce the constipation that occurs in women and this constipation leads to obesity so it's, 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 it's vital to do things that will avoid constipation constipation leads to fibroid so one of the most important things that you can do is have an exercise program, very simple exercise program. The most therapeutic exercise program is to walk. Brisk walking, at least 30 to 40 minutes, and that will stimulate the flow of the, your own energy through, through your entire body. And this is how we get good bowel movements by walking. We don't get good bowel movements if every three, four months we go and say we want to detox and get something with senna on cascara in it and you you have a little three days cleanse and you go back to the same type of lifestyle. What you need is lifestyle change to avoid the walls of the colon becoming lazy, the, the muscles, the smooth muscles, the peristalsis movement. The only thing you can activate that is to walk. The body was made to walk every day. So this is crucial. Lack of walking leads to fibroid growth. It's no, this is, this is the way you can, can afford getting an hysterectomy and destroying the whole architecture of your lower pelvic region. You know, it's crucial because women who get this type of surgery, it has a big psychological effect on the body. And when the mind has this type of negative energy, it is transmitted throughout the entire body. And guess what? You have different symptoms, autoimmune events, weight gain, and it just becomes a vicious cycle. So, and it's direct to me essentially is like lynching removing that organ from your body. So, dieting, activity, and then we'll add another thing to this regimen now, which is omega-3 oils. You call that either the fish oil or the flaxseed oil. And what this does, you're going to need this on a daily basis and depend on the the, 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 the individual, you're going to need X amount and, and, and multiple dosing per day. We'll discuss that right here. But it's crucial to have this fish oil because fish oil is anti-inflammatory. So it will keep down the inflammation because inflammation brings infection. And it's also antiviral. So if we do the walking, increase the dark green leafy vegetables and we add the fish oil then now we can use that to 
stop the growth until and then we can add other things that will help shrink these fibroids that we can apply external certain oils and so on so the fibroid issue also there is a molecule as I mentioned early that helps the body on a whole and this is this is a cheap form of health insurance it's the melanin that black women have in their skin and this melanin you can increase the amount of melanin by exposing your skin to the Sun this is a miracle molecule that has been hidden from us and the darker you are is the more melanin you have and if you have more melanin what will happen you will build your immune system you will build your memory you you will help your circulation every aspect of your health just by exposing yourself to the sun knowing that as your skin darkens your energy rises the melanin molecule is such a fascinating molecule it will take harmful ultraviolet rays that give people with low pigment or no pigment cancers or the black woman it she has the ability to absorb those harmful radiation harmful um, ultraviolet rays and convert that into a usable form of energy to repair her body she's the mother of creation so who wants you to understand this the melanin also is not only in the skin it's in the pineal gland and the pineal gland synthesizes a hormone that stimulates the production of melanin during sleep so another strategy is to get proper sleep don't work night shifts if you can help it melanin is produced during sleep and the highest amount is produced between 11 and 3 o'clock at night melanin is destroyed by bleach and it's drained by excessive drinking of coffee, like drinking coffee on a daily basis. So those are things that you must stay away from in order to utilize your God-given potential to heal your own self. But it requires some discipline and understanding. And that's why we're presenting this that you don't have to be running to the store and buying this and that and drinking coffee to boost your energy you just absorb that sunlight and you will build your energy and the melanin molecule is as if it acts like a computer just to be simple it it, it it's as a capacity to being an antioxidant um, boosting your enzyme system it have all those capacity but it's such a divine molecule you have to be aware of this and take advantage of it it will help your body eventually to burn the fat it will help your body to fight off the infection that's infecting your pancreas that's causing your insulin resistance it will organize all the nutrients in the body to work effectively that you can regenerate yourself repair yourself the melanin is a molecule that it's in different centers of the brain and when you're low in it you can have different neurological disorders like Parkinson's you can become depressed so without melanin 
you can spiral into different type of diseases. And take for example women. Women are nine to one times more vulnerable to autoimmune diseases.